Hello friends, you're watching Inner Today Tech and in this video, we're going to unbox the Star Wars edition of OnePlus 5T. The Last Jedi is right now running in theaters and the movie is being touted as one of the best since its release in the early 80s. We'll see if OnePlus 5T has a similar fate. The box, as you can see, is very different from what you get with the usual OnePlus phone. The Star Wars logo is given more prominence compared to the OnePlus logo and there is some other stuff in the box as well. So let's quickly take it out. The phone is only available in the 128 GB variant, which is more expensive than the 64 GB variant, of course. And compared to the other 128 GB variant, this one comes at 1000 rupees extra. So the OnePlus 5T is priced at 37,999 and the Star Wars OnePlus 5T comes at 38,999. Okay, so let's quickly take it out of the box. And the first thing you see is the phone itself put in a circular dais. This is the OnePlus 5T Star Wars edition. It has a white matte finish at the back and the Star Wars written here in red. You'll see that all the certifications and gibberish is not written on this phone. It's a very clean and clear back surface once you remove this sticker. There are no antenna lines as well on the back, which were on the usual OnePlus 5 and OnePlus 5T phones. The phone, of course, is still made out of metal, but there's only white paint at the top, which has a matte finish and feels a little rough to touch, so as to give you a good grip on it. But from the front, the phone looks exactly the same. OnePlus has kept the black borders for the screen to give much better viewing and the fact that it has chamfered edges on the sides also give it a reminiscent of OnePlus 5T. The fingerprint scanner comes in white ceramic color. The sandstone white color of the OnePlus 5T Star Wars edition is mainly inspired by white salt planes of the mineral planet Krayt featured in the film. The limited edition OnePlus 5T is basically styled in black and white and pays homage to the style of Stormtroopers who is a fictional soldier in the Star Wars. Another big difference is that the alert slider has been put in red. This is something that OnePlus has done to highlight its difference from other Android phones that don't come with a slider at all. Now, there are other things waiting inside the phone as well. So we'll quickly turn it on and take a look at what's different. And till then, we'll take a look at the other box contents as well. Now, another addition to the box is the back cover. If you are a Star Wars fan, you know that this looks very much like the Kylo Ren's helmet. It is made symmetrical from the center, the top and the bottom part resemble Kylo Ren's helmet. But I think OnePlus could have done a better job at manifesting this in the cover. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. The cover is indeed ergonomic. It has been made with curves at its side so as to give you a very good hold. When I grip it in the hand, it gives me a very good uh, holding area to place my thumb and my fingers here. And it's still, while the cover still juts out from the right and the left, which gives it a very good look as well. The quality of the cover also looks to be quite good. It's made out of good material. This part of the cover is not flexible, but the cover as a whole is flexible, but, but still of very good quality. And let's snap it onto the phone and see how it looks. It does make it quite bulky, but then again, it's one for Star Wars fans. Okay, now let's take at the other contents of the box. There is a small box that comes with the usual paperwork, which has a quick start guide, a safety information, and something else as well. It's a surprise. It's a OnePlus sticker, Star Wars sticker, and a Never Settle sticker. Next, there are a few lines written about the OnePlus 5 Star Wars edition. It is <laughs> probably an ode to the OnePlus 5T. Next day is the usual dash charger and the Type-C USB cable that is red in color, which is not because of it's the Star Wars edition, but it's because OnePlus ships with red data cables with all of its phones. Okay, so let's set up the phone.
So here is the home screen of the OnePlus 5 Star Wars Edition. The wallpaper is specifically designed for this phone and it also has a screen saver. And apart from this, you also get 10 special Star Wars wallpapers, giving the phone a pretty nice dual tone design. The specifications of the Star Wars edition of OnePlus 5T, same as the original OnePlus 5T, that is, it has an 18 to 9 aspect ratio on a 6 inch display and a Snapdragon 835 running under the hood with 8 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage, which is not expandable. It also has dual cameras at the back, which include a 16 megapixel primary sensor with a 20 megapixel secondary sensor, both having a f1.1 lens. So should you buy the OnePlus 5T Star Wars edition? It totally depends on if you are a Star Wars fan or not. If you are, then it makes no sense to not buy the Star Wars edition. Of course, it looks much better than the usual OnePlus 5T. But if you're not so much into the Star Wars franchise, if you've not been following it and you probably can't differentiate between a Stormtrooper and a Pog, you should get yourself the regular OnePlus 5T 6GB variant and save yourself around 5,000 rupees. So if you have liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get latest tech videos delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you for watching.